Now then. Say hello to King Vendrick. We're just gonna steal your ring. I hope you don't mind. And then I'm gonna leave. So I am not fighting him. Hello. This ring is the symbol of the king. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. And venture to the far east. Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch, then one day you will walk those grounds without really knowing why. Okay then. Well, I can't be asked walking back. And there really isn't any point. So let's use a homeward one. And we finally have the King's Ring. So it's time to go back to Majula. Level up. Use my Twinkling Titanite. And there are three King Doors. One of them might be a bit of a challenge to actually get to. Um, <clears throat> but it's fine because there's a bonfire behind it. But first... You've been long away. Well... Now that we have the King's Ring, she finally has more things. She has ten Titanite chunks at the moment, and three Twinkling Titanite. I'm really tempted to just... Yeah. Fuck it. And I would really like these as well. However... I'm not going to buy them just yet. Visit me again. Now then. I knew you. Armor. Nine pieces. I could completely do something. I'm best doing one of these. It don't really make a difference which. This is cheaper. There we go. So now we need 21 Twinkling Titan Knight for the rest of our set. I'll be around, if you may. 21 Twinkling Titan Knight for the rest of our set. Before I level up, actually. No. Balls to it. Actually, yeah. Let's go and use the couple of petrified sun things, the prism stones, and the small smooth, uh, the smooth and silky stones. See if we can get anything from them. Primarily, twinkling titan light, titan night. Feels good that we made a lot of progress so far tonight. No, oh, well, since the grind. And it was worth it because I do like my sun spear. No, I like my sun sword. Right. Start with the big things. Crushed Iol. Invade world of a traitor. When did I get this? Huh, okay. Well, we have seven of these. Right, I need to get back in at the rhythm. No. And then we do have prism stones as well. We're not going to get alt from them really, but... We might as well leave them. And then we just use the last one by accident. And the frame rate has gone to the toilet. Yeah, yeah. 
Shut up. Tight night slob. Channeler's trident. Tight night chunk. Nice. Bleedstone. Tight night chunk. Where were these earlier? Soul of a proud knight. Cracked blue eye orb. Poison stone. Ch another channeler's trident. Small blue burr. Tight night shard. Rubbish. Homeward born. Small orange burr. Small yellow burr. Small blue burr. Small yellow burr. Life gem. And that's it? That's it. Okay. Well then. Let us now go and level up. I don't know what we're going to put it in. There. Probably health. Health would probably be a good thing to put it in there. Hmm. We won't really see the benefits of putting any more points in strength or dex now, so. Is to see light. Oh yeah, four shards, didn't I? Very good. I think I've only got two. Ah, Esther's flask at maximum strength. Right, three levels maybe? Three levels. See, it only goes up by 40. Ah, goes up by 60. But still, really? Nah. Okay. Now then. Talk to her now. Bearer of the curse until hope has f over the hill and past the fort. No, win, win, win all this. Shut up. Um. Right. Okay. So. Next place we need to go is to check out the king's doors. Going in order, there's one here. Bonfire intensity four. Wow. <laughs> this is the one that's probably going to give us the most trouble. Just because I have intensified the bonfire. But it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. So let's have a look. Are you coming? Yeah, you are. Nope. Okay. Oh god, this again. This is all. This is like this again. We can get some more ch uh, torches then. And another ring of restoration. <laughs> Right, I'm going to try and bait these guys out. They don't really take a lot of damage, do they? This could be quite bad. Oh my god! Holy shit. Oh yeah, they're following me. Ah! Surely they can't follow me up here. Oh, they can. They can and they will. Oh, you 
you aren't supposed to jump back down. Take it. Double jog. Wow, that does nothing. That does though. I can't I can't move. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. I just want to take care of one of them first. Okay, okay. Okay, run, run away, run away. Now obviously you wouldn't really usually have this. It's just because I'm a fucking idiot and I've uh, used so many bonfire stakes. They're both just stuck there. Is the ball trying to get on? Uh. There's nothing else out here, is there either? And I need to put on the King's Ring, but I really shouldn't do it yet. Well, they're still not coming. No, the. No? Huh? Where's the King's Ring? Just open the fucking door, please. Where are they? Are they not following me anymore? I think I lost them. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yep, I'm completely fine with that. Now there's one of these giant trees here, and it's glowing. Examine. Alas, nothing happened. There's nothing we can do with that just yet. However, there is an item down here that I would like. Two twinkling tight night and a fragrant branch of yore. Now, there's not a lot I can do from here, except Homeward Born. Well, it could go the normal way and up that ladder, but I can't be bothered. Homeward, homeward bonds are going to become in insignificant very soon. So I'm okay with doing that. Right. So, the next King's Door is in the Shaded Woods, I want to say. Yeah. Next one's in the Shaded Woods, and then the last one is in Dranglet Castle. Huh. I think I might leave the Dranglet Castle one till last, and we might just go ahead and do all three bosses. I think that could be quite fun. Alas, stupid. Right, okay. Now then. This shouldn't be too difficult at this point in the game. But we'll soon find out. See how much damage we take from it. Yeah, we still take quite a lot of damage. But we should be able to deal a lot of damage as well. We don't need to kill it, but... Fuck it. He wants to be a dick to us, we can be a dick to him. Hello. He's guarding a very shit ring. Red tier sewn ring. Well, it's shit for me anyway. Red tear stone ring. 
What the hell is it? There it is. Boost attack when HP is low. It might be amazingly good, but I tend to not like having my HP low. And how low do you mean by low? 10%? 5%? Because if it's that sort of number, I ain't happy about that. That's not the sort of amount of health I like to have in Dark Souls. You were a nice little distraction while I waited for the door to open. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Aldia's Keep. Makes sense now, doesn't it? Aldia. The scholar of the first thing. Try and kill these quick because they're a fucking menace. Okay, that went rather well. Ten poison throwing knives. Affinity. I don't know what that is. It looks like a spell. Although in school, just in case anything really does go wrong with this, which it shouldn't, but just in case, I'm going to light this bonfire. And there's a chest over there, and it's a bit of a dick chest. Yeah. Malformed skull and a dark mask. Okay then. Now, I didn't much like this area the first time I came here. It scared me. But it's not that long and it's not really that hard, in all honesty. So yeah, let's get on with it. Foggate, Aslatil of Mirror. Does that sound uh, a bit, a bit uh, familiar? I believe, from what I've heard, that this is Lucatil's brother that she's looking for. 